tennis fans, this guy earned our respect as one of the greatest American tennis players in his generation. Now he's earning respect through T3 Tennis, thanking our troops through tennis. We're at the McDill Air Force Base in Tampa with tennis clinics with Dick Stockton. Stay with us for the exciting action. Winner of 24 ATP singles and doubles titles, reaching a career high of number eight in the world. Stockton played on five Davis Cup teams. Now Stockton and his Blue Sky Sports Foundation are sharing his tennis acumen and passion for the sport by providing tennis clinics to military bases throughout the country with his T3 program. Dick Stockton, you represented our country at the highest level of international athletic competition, Davis Cup. Now, you're giving back as much as anyone to the game by doing it through the military. Why and how good does that make you feel? Well, the why is pretty easy. Um, when I was a kid, I was always told that if you ever get good enough, you got to be ready to give back because uh, a lot of people gave a lot to me just so I could have a chance to play. And I always had that back in the back of my mind of wanting to, to be able to give back. And the military just is something that just came out of nowhere about three years ago. Uh, Liz, my wife and I had, were talking about the idea and talked with Liz's brother who happens to be a colonel in the army. And his career military. And that would, is what got us started thinking about how we can give back because I know the sacrifices he makes, I know the sacrifices his family makes. So we thought, well, what do we know? We don't know a lot, but we know tennis. So we thought, let's do that. Let's bring tennis to the bases and see how it turns out. So for us, it means saying thank you for everything that the, these men and women do for our country. And you know what? It's so fun. They have no inhibitions. They are just... They're like you, they're no inhibitions. Racking the ball everywhere, crushing me with it. They don't care. And they're just having fun, and that's all we want to have. Fun. I'm having a tennis ball. <laughs> it's grateful. I love seeing my kids being active and all that. It's amazing to see our children thriving in this opportunity that the USO has brought to us, uh, to our, the McDill community. It's, it's amazing to see them um, being able to develop some new skills. I just want to thank the Blue Sky Foundation. This is a really, really good opportunity for our uh, kids, especially you know, military kids. We don't get this, this type of treatment every so often, having veterans from your foundation coming over here to teach basic skills to our kids. I'm really excited, really thrilled. I'm a big tennis fan, so yes. Oh, this is awesome. What an amazing thing you guys are doing to come out here and offer this to the military kids. We're so thankful. I mean, these tennis courts don't get used as much as they should. And my kids, I have two of them here, and they're having a blast. So we really appreciate you guys coming out for sure, yeah. It's a wonderful event. Hopefully it will spark their interest in tennis and maybe lead to greater things for them, hopefully. This is a great chance for them to get out and learn something new, thanks to the USO. Oh, this is a wonderful program. We are so excited to be one of eight bases that is able to offer tennis for the troops right here at McDill Air Force Base. This is a wonderful program where we're able to have the youth, the teens, and the adults have an opportunity to play tennis with the pros. This is great. It's great for families. It's great for the members to come out and have a little bit of recreation out here in beautiful McDill Air Force Base. Great program. Uh, I'm having so much fun out here today. I, it's, it's amazing that I got invited to this, so it's good, yeah. I just really appreciate the uh the Blue Sky Foundation for volunteering and supporting this, supporting uh, all of the military families. My kids haven't had a lot of exposure to tennis, and for them to offer this is a great opportunity for them to come out and uh, and see what it's all about, and learn from some folks who know how you know how to teach. I'm having a lot of fun. This is my first experience, so I'm really excited. And this cause coming out with all these kids with the smiles and the parents smiling is an excellent cause to, to give back to the community. And with the game of tennis, where they could play tennis, from this age all the way up to their 80s and 90s is great. I'm enjoying that I'm learning something new because I never played tennis before and I didn't realize how much fun it could be. It's fun to be here and have fun hitting the balls and you know knowing people who know what they're doing. Having a little bit of previous experience you know it's given me a few pointers a few tips to improve my game so that later on when it's just me and my mom playing you know it'll help me out it'll be more fun. Tennis is something I grew up with my whole life. I'm very passionate, so it's close to my heart. But more importantly, with the kids, uh, with our armed forces, that means a lot to me, and I'll do anything to kind of give back, um, just as much as armed forces I give back to everyone here in our country. 
Jamie, rumor is that you were a bullfighter before Dick married your daughter Liz to get in the training to handle that son-in-law. What kind of a son-in-law is Dick Stockton? He's the best. He's great. He couldn't be any better. What are you learning from that young kid of yours? Oh, he's a, he's a complete professional. Complete. From, from the head to the toes. You grew the game immensely here today. A number of people never picked up a racket, and they're going out there whistling tennis on their breath. They want to play. Well, that's the great thing about this 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 uh, this program. It's not we're not looking to find the next great American champion. I mean, if we if we stumble upon him, great. But it's more of just uh, just giving these, especially the kids, an opportunity to to play a game that they can play for the rest of their lives, and it, it promotes a healthy lifestyle. And but more than anything else, the, the reward for us is, is just seeing the smiles on the court and then when people are leaving and the comments they have and, and how appreciative they are. Donna Bernstein, you and Dick Stockton have been friends for generations. Wheelchair tennis, promoting all types of tennis through the East. Now you're here today with thanking our troops through tennis. What's it mean to be involved with Dick and to be part of this program? Well, Dick's always helped me give back to uh, wheelchair tennis and other tennis communities, so I wanted to be here to give back to Dick. I love the idea of working with the troops, being at the military bases, and hope we can keep it going, do a lot more, raise a lot of money for all our troops. You work in so many different causes, the wheelchair, of course, the Israel Tennis Foundation, and now there's another one that's catching your eye. Runway of Dreams with Mindy Shear. Well, Runway of Dreams is uh, very close to my heart, working with clothing, adaptive clothing for wheelchair users, as Mindy likes to say, and hopefully uh, finding clothing manufacturers that will make sports, sports attire for people who are wheelchair users. Tennis fans, we had an absolute ball right here at McDill Air Force Base in Tampa with Dick Stockton and T3 Tennis, thanking our troops through tennis. Plan to join us again, but until then, remember, in tennis scoring, love means nothing, but love of the game means everything. Keep alive your love of the game. Love you, tennis fans, and we'll see you again soon.